Connie Hancock, Extension Educator with the University of Nebraska. And I'm Mark Hendricks, System Administrator at CIT at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Welcome to the Security Squad series on wireless connections. In this episode, you'll be learning about the security issues surrounding the use of wireless connections. There are risks both in providing wireless access and also using someone else's unsecured system. Today we all expect to have internet connectivity, whether it's while you wait at the doctor's office, sit at the coffee shop, or local restaurant. It really does seem like a great customer service they provide, but actually without some of the safeguards included, it can pose problems for the business owner and the person who is using the service. So Mark, what's your take on the public wireless connections? Well, hotspots are everywhere. My dentist provides me with an internet access point when I have to wait for my appointment. She doesn't realize that providing me with this service does pose problems for her. <laughs> Most businesses who provide free wireless access don't know that in doing so they risk keeping their confidential information secure. Oh my. So what should one do if you want to provide internet access to your customers and still be safe? Well, there are several ways to reduce the risk. Uh, first, you can split your current network into two separate segments that still uses your existing equipment. Okay. Another option is to set up two wireless routers, one which is secure for your business and the other which is open for customers. Either way, a dual system can get a little complicated, so you may want to have some IT technical support. But what if you provide internet access and someone other than your customers are using it? Like someone who pulls up to your business and goes online with your unsecured internet connection. Hmm. Yeah, with an unsecured connection, anyone that can come within range of your wireless signal, which is a radio signal, uh, can go online. <clears throat> this can be a problem. If you provide an unsecure or open wireless internet connection, you don't have control over what people are doing using your network. Illegal activity can be traced back to your network, or someone may break into your system and gain access to your confidential information. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's not. So one solution is to set up a web page where the, the person or the user has to agree uh, not to do any illegal activity like downloading pirated software, threatening government officials, that kind of thing while they're using your connection. This helps protect you as the provider of the wireless internet. After agreeing to comply with your rules, the user can receive a temporary password, which you would change periodically. Okay. You also need to decide if you want to broadcast your router's name. If you really want to be secure, I would recommend not publicly broadcasting the name of your router or your wireless connection. <clears throat> the only thing is that this makes it a little less convenient for the customers you want to log on to your network. Well, that's a good point too. But you know, Mark, I know that most motels today make customers agree to a privacy policy. It now makes sense to me why they do that. So what you're really telling me is that the best policy to make your office internet access safe is to use a secured wireless connection. You can still provide your customers with access, but with a password. And those passwords should be changed periodically and maybe even daily. Yeah, that, that's right. So what should we do to set up a secure wireless internet system? Well, it gets a little technical here. Uh, in terms of setting up your wireless connection, the best practice is to set the encryption at the highest or most secure level your router will support. Okay. Uh, most routers today support um, WPA2, which stands for Wi-Fi Protected Access, and it's the second iteration of that. Uh, which, which, you know, like I said, is the most uh, current encryption for most wireless networks. This can be used as one level of protection, but actually, you know, to be more secure, you'd want to use another added security layer and that's only allowing your router to recognize certain MAC addresses or media access control addresses. Mm. This means that anyone accessing your wireless internet has to go through a double layer of security. If the router doesn't recognize the MAC address, you just can't get in. Okay. If a person gets by the first layer, the next layer will catch them. Hmm. Mark, so how do you find the MAC address on a PC or an Apple Mac computer? It's actually quite easy to find your MAC addresses, but there are a few steps in finding it. 
So we, uh, please check your security plan appendix for those specific instructions or just simply Google MAC addresses for online directions. And how would you go about encrypting then your router? Um, well, many routers have wizard software to walk you through the setup process. Hmm. Uh, when you purchase your router, you may want to use, you know, make sure that uh, it supports like WPA2 okay. and get to that, get that set up right away. And that's usually in the wizard. It's fine to find someone who you trust to set it up, but the more you know about your own router, uh, the better you'll be. Uh, that's because, you know, you maybe need to change a password. Uh, you can go in and do it, and you don't have to call tech support all the time. Okay. Mark, we talked about setting up your own secure wireless system. So tell me, should I be using the wireless internet connection provided at the local coffee spot? Well, it kind of depends on what you do, but, but actually you do need to be very careful about what, what you do on and this with this, those kind of systems. <laughs> and you should also let your employees know that they shouldn't be using unsecured connections when they travel to do business. We all have, at one time or another, gone online using an open connection that doesn't require password authentication. You open up your laptop and you connect to one of the open connections listed on your screen. There are quite a few risks to doing this. Uh, the first is that someone else using the network could possibly log into your computer or sniff your traffic. Also, you know, the data sent over the connection could be intercepted unless you've taken steps to encrypt your data. Wow. So Mark, what would you think of using a wireless connection to do online banking? <laughs> Actually, uh, this is something I really take a stand on. I'd say just don't do it um, because do that wired. Uh, it's too easy to hack a wired wireless connection. Um, here's a quote I found that explains it all. An unsecured wireless network is an open invitation to hackers to walk right into your computer and steal your personal information, upload malware onto your computer, and otherwise terrorize you. Mark, how do Bluetooth connections then figure into all of this? Hmm. Yeah. If your phone or computer has been set up to allow all Bluetooth connections or being in a discovery mode all the time, anybody nearby with Bluetooth can access the data on your device. You can check your Bluetooth settings and control panel of your computer and change it to alert me when a Bluetooth device wants to connect. Hmm. Okay. Also, check the Bluetooth settings on your mobile phone, your PDA, or anything else that's Bluetooth, so there isn't a possibility of someone connecting to your devices and downloading information from them. Remember, <clears throat> not all devices can encrypt files. If you carry sensitive files with you, you may want to consider encryption software for your device. One thing that people forget, too, is that if you have a wireless printer in your office, you may want to take extra caution in printing sensitive documents. You will want to make sure that you turn that machine off at the end of the day to delete stored information because all of that information is still at risk. Okay, so you've heard it all here from the security squad. Now it's your turn to go to the security plan and complete the steps you intend to take to make your operation secure with its wireless networks. This is your security squad signing off. Remember, don't gamble with your business and keep that office data safe and secure. Yeah.